Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will give a push for beginners who would like to start uh, learning on ANSYS Fluent and I will start by uh, simulating a, a swirled pipe uh, which is uh, uh, in uh, 3D. The first thing we do is we go to ANSYS Workbench. I have the version 19.9. .9. We open Workbench. And then we go to the left. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for it to open. Mm -hmm. Now maximize the screen, and now we go to Fluid Flow Fluent on the left, and we drag it to our project schematic. Let's change the name. Let's put tutorial one and click enter. Now we go to geometry and here if you are working on 2D you can switch to 2D but in our case it's 3D so we will keep it 3D and we will right click on geometry and the second is a new design modeler geometry, click on it. Now here we will sketch our uh, drawing. So let's start by pressing on Z to have our XY axis. Uh, look uh, look at it and or you can press look at face plane sketch and you will uh, see it it's the same uh, for our for our uh, drawing we will use uh, units millimeters and press on XY plane and go to sketching now to start our uh, sketch we will draw a circle but first go to constraints in order to put on the auto constraints and now we draw a circle we search for circle click on the center and we draw it simple then we go to dimensions and by default it's uh, click the general is pressed and uh, we click on our circle and we choose a diameter in our case we will put it 30 30 millimeters okay now we generate our sketch then now we have we see the the modeling the tree out uh, the tree outline we have uh, sketch one and this is it it lights uh, yellow uh, now we go to sketch another uh, drawing we click on new sketch and we go to line which will be the path of the uh, of our uh, uh, curly pipe or whatever. Uh, now we go, we draw a horizontal line and this is it. Now we go to, it's perpendicular to the axis, now we go to dimensions, general, or you can choose horizontal but uh, it's uh, more proper to keep it on general. Now we choose our uh, length, let's uh, choose for our case 300. Okay, now to see all the uh, screen in front of us, all the drawing in front of us, we click on uh, this one here, zoom to fit. Okay.
Now, as we did with the first drawing, we will do with the second. Uh, it will be uh, generate. We go to modeling, sketch two. Click on sketch two and generate. Now we have sketch one and two. One which is a circle and two is the line which will be the path later on. Now, in order to make the pipe uh, uh, draw in 3D the swirling pipe, let's click on sweep. And here you have profile, profile, click on the circle and press apply. For path, click on the line, then press apply. And for the in the twist specification, just change it to turns and come down to 30 turns or oh, no, just go to like for example, six turns, let's say, and let's see what we have now. We press generate. Okay, and that's it. And you can look at it in 3D. You can press uh, this tiny uh, point here, uh, and now you can zoom out and see your uh, sketch. You can take off the uh, axis and this is it. Now save your uh, work to I will save it to D drive and I will create a file here to save my work uh, let's call it tutorial uh, 1 okay and we call our file tutorial 1 and uh, in the next video I will show you how to mesh and uh, later on we will see how to set up everything in Fluent. Thank you for watching everybody and uh, see you in the next uh, video.